Floyd, and I really wish he could. He would have delivered a, a speech you could all remember for a long time. You know, Marilyn gave my father a platform to do what he does best, and that is build basketball programs and create excitement. And he's really, really great at it. Um, on behalf of him and my family, I want to say thank you for this honor and for this recognition. Um, you know, in 1969, he came to Maryland and he said he was going to make him the UCLA of the East. It's a bold statement, but I gave him a bold man. Everything he did was bold. And uh, the first thing he did was he went out and he found the best assistant coaches he could. And their mantra was the harder you work, the luckier you get. The boy, they went out and worked hard. They scoured the country for the best high school basketball players. McDonald's All-Americans, uh, Parade All-Americans, and they convinced them to come to Maryland and do something special. Many of them are right here, and uh, thank you guys. Uh, their, their success, our success, um, is well done. You know, I asked my dad what was one thing that, that he wanted to make sure you guys knew that was important to him, and he said that he wanted everybody to know that he is, number one, super proud of his players' success on the court, in the classroom, and beyond basketball. That's number one. Uh, number two, he, would be, he, would, he, would, he wanted to thank all his assistant coaches for their tireless hard work and loyalty to Maryland and to him. And then last but not least, he said, Chuck, make sure you let the fans know that I love them. Night in and night out, those fans came into Coldfield House. Sell out, sell out, sell out. And it was an electric venue. It was a destination. And it did, it laid the groundwork for Maryland basketball. So thank you from me, the players, the coaches, Coach Brazil, our family for this honor. And I know my father is watching, so that this big precise for you, no trust. <laughs>